Okay, one more take. Take four of the moon. One, one day past full on uh, November 7th, 2014. Got a Sony A7S camera shooting at 1 500th of a second shutter speed. ISO is 100, pretty low. And uh, we got a decent looking moon picture here. We are staring through a Takahashi TSA-120 telescope with a flattener on the back end of it from Takahashi also to give us a flat field. The focal length of the telescope is 900 millimeter. Camera is set to APS-C crop, so the net magnification is 27 power, more or less. And uh, you got a moon, man. A little bit of uh, Terminator on the upper part of the image. That would be the beginning of the waning moon starting to kick in. That shadow will creep from the top to the bottom, I guess, as the days progress or evenings progress. The dark areas on the moon are called Maria or seas. They are ancient lava flows, but they're newer than the lighter regions, which are lighter because they show different lunar material, and they've been smacked longer by impacts, so those puppies shine pretty good. Deep impacts, I guess. Two big craters just uh, below the center line of the moon on the lower right side. I think that's uh, Copernicus, and the one on the leftish side, I may be Clavius or Tycho. Heck, I don't know. Tycho, Clavius, Copernicus. Those are all craters somewhere on the moon. There's even a big one up in the upper right corner of the moon. I don't know what that one's called either. And, uh, hey man, somewhere up there is, is Moonbase Alpha there. I kind of doubt it. It's after 1999, right? So I'm just panning it around, trying to make sure my image is nice and sharp all the way across the entire focal plane, which it appears to be, since I've got a nice, fancy, expensive flattener in my optical train. So that is the moon, real time, 1080 60p, high definition. It's not 4K, but uh, next camera maybe. And. Um, I think we'll call that a wrap with uh, the moon, 1 500th of a second shutter, ISO 100, Sony A7S camera, and a Takashi TSA 120 telescope. There you have it.